So um, I've been thinking recently about why we do what we do and um, lots of you will know that on the 31st of October the light trail is coming up and um, every year I kind of question what we do and why we do it and whether it's still valuable and I was taken back to that first year um, where we started the light trail. It was a Covid year so in lots of ways we kind of were pushed outside the box um, with what we'd always done. But that year, God spoke really clearly to me and it was through a different series of events. Um, the first thing that happened was I met somebody who I know lived in Farnborough and in fact they lived here in this Coombway estate. Um, and I was chatting to them about what I did and um, worked for the church and they were like, oh, what church is that? So I said, oh, St Peter's Church, it's actually just up the hill from you and they had never heard of St Peter's Church um, and in fact they didn't even know where it was even though it's literally a stone's throw away from here. And then over, um, over the holidays when I kind of deliberately was making space for God um, I, that was brought to my attention again and just you know for so many of us that are so embroiled in church and we kind of think that everyone knows about us, everyone knows that we're Christians, there is so many people living in Farnborough that number one don't know Jesus and number two don't know that the church exists and don't even know that there's a church really close to them and um, as I was chatting that through with God I just had this sense of we have this light message this gospel brightness that we need people who are living in dark lives to know about and it kind of all came together in my head about um, the message, the, the message of light that we can bring on what should be the darkest day of the year, Halloween. So the light trail was born and um, it was a massive blessing to people in our community. The first year we ran it, there was hundreds of people, literally hundreds of people that got involved. And every year we've done it since then, I've done the same thing and stop and listen and check with God that this is right. And as I was doing that this year, it was literally the same week. I mean, I don't believe in a God of coincidences, like I do believe it was God speaking. Um, I was chatting to some ladies at the hub who the ladies have been coming to the hub ever since it started. And to be honest, I wasn't too sure kind of where they'd come from or how they knew about us. And it turns out, their first meeting with us was through the light trail. So we're going to hear a little bit about what church means to them and um, what's happened since they met us at that very first light trail. Uh, I'm Stacey and I'm, I live locally to the church. I'm Jo and I live local to the church as well. And how did you find out about St Peter's Church? Um, in our area there was a poster put up about the light trail um, which is there's different po six different points which so you can collect stamps from and then you come to the church to collect your hot chocolate um, and on one of the tables where we were sitting there was a card for the hub and that's how we found out about the church and we come every Tuesday yeah and our kids really like it like they love coming to church playing with other children all the different activities every week so, um, what would you say to other people from the church that might want to help at the light trail or help at the hub or anything like that? What would you say the difference it's made for you guys? Um, our kids enjoy it. Um, every help, every bit of help is good for the children. Um, and on the way, they get to learn stuff about you get a little leaflet and you have, um, they give you a clue. A, a, um, a clue and you've got to guess what it is and do a little star jump they give you a bit of hard one or an easy one so and it's just like you get to the next point and they always have like um, what do they have um, like they're always seen like they always make sure that the kids are safe all the way through the trail and, and this is a difficult question but what difference has church made in your lives whether that's like because of the light trail or because of the hub or Whatever else, like what difference do you think that church has made to you guys? It's really, well, really good because it gives us somewhere after school that we can all come together and all the kids can play together 
because we don't have massive houses. No, so we, we don't. So we can all come and we can play all together. Um, and they do, they come to the hub and they also come to the Lighthouse Club on a Monday. And they absolutely love it because it just gives them that little time outside of school yeah. to play. And we've, always made, we've all made, also made friendships with people that also work here. So I think that's really, really a good, a key thing to have. So we would love you to be involved with the light trail this year. We know that sometimes it can feel like you're just standing on a corner giving out a bag and you're not preaching the gospel. So how can it be important? How can it be church work? You're just hammering up a marquee and, and sta sitting in a gazebo or standing on a street corner with fairy lights. But we know through testimony, through what has, God has been doing in these ladies' lives and through so many more that we don't even see the fruit of that this is what he wants St Peter's Church to be doing on Halloween. So please do join with us and there's roles for everybody. We'd love to chat to you about how you fit into this mission.